Hey there, Dragon Questers! Classicomer here. Last time, we got Kane, And since then, I've got him up to level 2, and I went ahead and got him a Leather Shield. So, for the lead, we have a Holy Crusader. For the second character, we have a Biblical figure. And if you missed in the intro, the princess's name is Maria. You know, like, Mother Mary. Yeah, I don't know how all my names end up being so religiously tied. Which is really weird for me, because I would describe myself as distinctly non-Christian. While being raised in a fairly Christian household and loving the actual Christmas season and the holiday of it. Mostly for the seeing the family and gift giving, that kind of thing. So... Kane just got to level 3 and learned Fireball, which is kind of just like it was in the previous game. So, yeah, let's go ahead and put that spell to use. It's not like his physical attack's doing very much right now, anyway. Let's see how he does against one of these wild rats with it. Whoosh! Fireball! 20 damage, and the other one ran away. Nifty. So, we went ahead over to here. To whatever this is, some... Monument, or whatever. Monolith, there we go. That was the M word I was trying to think of. And, no, I haven't been to the one south of, uh, where I see it. Hmm. Alright, we'll do that. Apparently, we need to go there to learn more important information. Which isn't really that hard to find. Just follow the coast here around south past uh, Letwin and to Lur Lurisia. So I've decided I'm going to call it Lurisia now. I may change the pronunciation if someone says something in the comments somewhere. Anyway, it's not really that hard to find your way there. I'm pretty sure you people can do it on your own, so I'll just meet you at the castle. Okay, I'm back here at Lurisia Castle. So, I went ahead and took the liberty of resting at the end, since Kane went ahead and got the level 4 on the way there. And we need to find this monolith somewhere to the south. And finally, Kane seems to be getting along somewhat. He still can't one-shot a big slug, but he's doing better. Give him some time, he's not, you know, super awesome at melee attacks like Roland, who, by the way, will never learn any spells. So, they balance each other out. I kind of like it. Oh, hey, a Spectre. Uh, I don't think these ones are too special. I mean, it's not like they're going to be saving the galaxy or anything. Ooh, plain clothes. That's so helpful. Well, I'm sure I can use them for money. Yeah, by the way, those specters, they can't do anything special. Hey, we finally made it to that monolith. So, I thought it occurred to me while I was walking to Laratia. If we have the Prince of Canock, and there's a Princess of Canock, why doesn't she join us? We can use all the help we can get. I mean, I can understand why the uh, kings are staying behind. They have to rule the kingdoms, but if the princes are going, and why don't we get her along too? Anyway, as we kind of already learned before, there's a couple different keys. There's the silver key that that uh, prisoner told us about, and there's the golden key. So we need to find the lake cave. West of Canock. Man, it's going to take forever to get back there. Unless I use a Winged Chimera. Like I said before, these work like the return spell of the previous game, only they take you to where you saved the last, not your original starting place. So go, let's go and talk to that princess. I mean, maybe she'll join us now that her brother's with us and she knows who we are. See, she even wants to come with us. What the hell? <laughs> really? Really, Kane? You gotta be a dick like that? Okay, well, fine. Screw that. Ah, kinda funny that he is calling her useless. Considering how he... I don't even think he can one-shot slimes yet. Unless he uses Fireball, obviously. And I never mentioned it before, but he also came with the heal spell which super useful, as you could imagine. 
That's why I haven't given him any of the medical herbs. Even though I would want Roland to do most of the attacking, it would be nice if, say, we both got critically injured and we had to heal both characters at once, we could spend an entire turn healing. And whatever. Kane, can you possibly take out this big slug? Maybe? No. At least when, you know, most of the fights have three enemies, it doesn't really matter if he can't one-shot something because he can two-shot them, so it still only takes two turns for a fight. We'll just make our way through this very narrow forest, and keep heading west. Oh crap, Cobras and Babbles! Great! Both of these enemy types can poison you. That's why I picked up those antidote herbs earlier. And hopefully if I can get lucky and not get poisoned. Come on! Kill it! Damn it! Finish it. Oh, good. Yeah, I really don't want to get poisoned. Do I even? I've only got two of those, don't I? No, I got three. That's right. I picked one up earlier. Still, I've only got three of those. And the poemi slime. Oh, uh, you might also call these heal slimes because about all they're going to do is cast heal, and they've got a lot of HP, so they can be kind of annoying. Especially if they just start healing themselves repeatedly. Um, hmm. You know what? I have more than enough things in my inventory. I'm going to go ahead and use one of these metal quarters. Roland could use a little bit of healing. And, thankfully, since uh, the game's not stupid when you get items in battle, you can they just move straight down to the next character who has open inventory slots. Oh, cool. That's right, we'll get stat-boosting items in this game. Um... Hmm. You know what? Actually, I don't want to use the Seal of Joel yet. We'll save that for later. It's another party member I might want to give that to. I haven't really decided yet. Oh, new... Now? Yeah, these are new. We haven't seen giant rats yet. Uh, I really care more about that battle, though. So, roll and kill the battle. Come on, do it. Yes! And we'll fireball these things, since I... They can deal some decent damage. I don't want to let them get a chance to really... Hammer their hits in on us. Ooh, level up for... Kane again. Eh, at least there's some kind of advantage to him starting off at low level. He gains level quickly and does not learn the spells hoping to learn. Oh well. I'll have to wait for it. Let's just keep heading this way. Ooh, a staircase. I think, well, nah, technically this isn't the first time we've come across a staircase in the dungeon. We did see one of the Spring of Bravery, even though it didn't lead to much of anything. Ooh, a nut of life. I definitely want to save that. And the Magician. I'm pretty sure these guys can cast Fireball on us, and that would not be cool. That would not be cool at all. Let's see. For now, I'm going to go ahead and attack him. Uh, no, Kane, screw it. Defend. Don't need you taking way too much damage. And since there's only one left, I'll go ahead and let him attack. Actually, I'll stupid. I should let him defend. It's not like he could have one-shot it anyway. Let's see, Magicians, yes, they can cast Fireball, and, well, that's gonna hurt. So, they're a pretty high priority to kill. Man, look at that strength. Rolling just... Rrr, buffing up. And, well, <laughs> this isn't a very good battle for it. But, ah, oh, shit, I need to... <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> I don't like when I have two high priority targets at once. At least Kane can take out the King Cobras with his Fireball spell. Anyway, what I was going to mention is that sometimes enemies will be put into groups. Because, you know, they'll be some of the same kind. Ooh, another Wing Chimera. That'll be useful if I want to make a quick path, beat a quick retreat back to uh, Kanok after this place. Um, yeah, that's not the right command. Nice, more Antidote Herbs. Always need more of those. And what's over here? 
Yeah. Hopefully this fight will... Okay, there we go. See how those giant rats are in the same grouping, notified by the two next to their name? That is kind of important, because your characters won't always be smart enough to attack the same enemy within the group that they attacked the previous turn. So, thankfully the game's being pretty smart. Roland went ahead and attacked the uninjured one because he could one-shot it, leaving Kane to try and finish off his original target. I thought he might have been able to do it in two shots. You know, he could have gotten lucky. My crit the guy. I need to hit hitting the A button. Wow, another wing chimera. That's sort of I don't know. Forgiving? Generous? Whoa! Three magicians. Uh, let's see how my fireball spell works on them. I do have a fairly complete B series, it's just separate on a couple different pages. Yeah, if my fireball spells work. That's nice. Need a heal though. There we go. Yeah. What's interesting about Dragon Quest games, as opposed to, say, Final Fantasy, is that we don't have elemental weaknesses. We actually just have resistances. And we have enemies with a lot of defense that we definitely want to use a spell on them. Even though Roland did do a good amount of damage. Kane did twice as much. Because, well, that guy had a lot of defense. Roland's doing how much damage to a normal enemy? Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Do not like army ants. Yeah, Roland's doing like... You know, 15, 16 damage. On normal enemies, and only did 10 to the other one. Ooh, that was helpful. Come on, Kane, can you finish it? No. That's why I hate army ants. They can call for reinforcements. That's a problem. So, I I don't know what's worse, getting poisoned or having more enemies come into the fight to continue being a pain in the ass. You might want to take out the army ants before you worry about someone who can poison you. In any case, here's the silver key, and I would just cut here and show, show you guys me leaving the place, but I missed chess on the way in, so... You get to watch me walk all the way back out here if you want to see where this chest is and what's in it. Sorry. Now you get to see me kill off more army ants, anyway. Who knows, they might actually get a chance to bring in help. No? Good. I'm glad. Rather they didn't do that. Oh, let's just keep moving. We need to get out of here. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot of inventory space. So, even if I did take the time to buy more medical herbs, I... I guess I could stack them all up on Kane, or move some of my antidote herbs over to him. You know... Okay. Kane went ahead and attacked the second rat. Well, I'm kinda surprised. Roland's being really smart and not attacking the one Kane's already hit. It really doesn't matter because I keep forgetting Kane can't two-shot these things, so I just have him defend. And... Do you actually... Oh, he got some strength this time. I don't think he's gotten, like, any strength on level ups. And he learned Antidote. That cures poison. That's a spell. Not to be confused with the herb, although it is the same effect. So, that's pretty nice. I'm glad he's finally got that because of these guys. Um... Yeah, go ahead and hit another one with Fireball spell. Try and make sure that we don't end up poisoned. There we go. And then this thing's just gonna be a pain in the ass. I really don't care for heal slimes. At least not when they're on the enemy side. Thankfully, if they don't spend turns healing themselves, Roland can take them out pretty quickly. There we go. Treasure that has a lottery ticket. Wow. Um. Man, I really should have gone back to a, uh... Yeah. Jesus. I did not expect to fill my inventory like that. I should have gone somewhere and sold off those clothes. Oh well, I'll just throw them on the ground. Trust me, they're not worth anything. The lawyer ticket really isn't either, but... You could sell it for more. Or, if you're really lucky, you could actually win something. So, let's just make our way 
out of here. Really, game? Really? With all the fights? I maybe should have had Kane use Fireball in one of these battles, but... Well, I've been pretty lucky I'm not getting poisoned so far. Let's see if Kane can, maybe? No, he still sucks! Even with that one point more strength that he got from that level up, he still can't kill those guys in two hits. Looks like he got him on the third, though. Oh my god, this encounter rate. Really, you saw that? It took, like, what, two steps? Oh well. I guess I can't complain too much. I have been getting lucky with the uh, resisting poison. Because Babbles can... Babbles and Copras can do it on their regular attacks. Come on, make it. I want to get out of here before I get into another poison possible fight. Or fight that could possibly poison me. However you should construct that sort of sentence. And let's... Yeah, you know what? Let's just walk. Said the man who got into more fights with Babbles. And another. Why not? Oh, hey, look, there's a cave there. Too bad I can't get to it since it's surrounded completely by water. Actually, you don't want to go to that cave. It's kind of pointless. Um. Well, I was gonna say let's head back up to Canock because now that we have the silver key, we might actually be able to put it to some kind of use. But then the game decided that I need to get into another round fight. Whatever. Since I talked through it, I guess I don't really care. Okay, I didn't actually get to do anything in there. All the doors that were there were gold doors. So, instead, let's head back to... I'm just gonna call it Left Wind. I don't remember what this translation's calling it. Because I'm pretty sure there was a silver door in this town. Yeah, there it is. And it's gonna be pretty important to come to. Just come up, use the silver key, and now we can get to the lottery game. And we have plenty of tickets. Um... No, you don't need to explain the rules to me. Let's just play. What we need to do, as in any other lottery, is get three of the same symbol. And as far as I know, there's no way to pause or manipulate this in some way. So, maybe just be really good at timing? In any case, I'm not. I'm just kind of doing this to get the lottery tickets out of my inventory. If you're really lucky, you can actually win something from this. Let's see... Can I actually get anything out of this? I really doubt it. Be surprised if I can. No. Pretty fail. Let's see, there are five different prizes you can actually win from this. But that wasn't what I wanted to do. Damn it! Yeah, you can get the... I'm gonna call it a sun symbol, you get the uh, gold ticket to play infinitely. The star symbols let you get a prayer ring, which stores MP when you use it, and other things. If you get moon symbols, you get a wizard's wand, which is a fairly useful piece of equipment at this point of the game. Oh, can I? Yeah! There we go! What the hell kind of victory jingle is that? Well, we get Wizard Staff. So, that's pretty awesome. You can also get a Amulet or Dragon Spin, whatever it's called, if you get the uh, Water Symbols, or those Slime Droplet Symbols. Or if you got all herbs, you get the... or all hearts, you get a Milk Herb. Whoopee. So, who has that Staff? Roland, that won't do you any good. You are not the Magic type. Let's give that to... Look at that! Attack Jump! Almost gets as much attack power as uh, Roland does. What this? I hit X, which is typically the menu button for a uh, square game. Not so here. So let's go and equip that. Man, that's really awesome. I'm happy about this. Very much so. And we can sell off the old copper sword that I no longer need. Not to mention, buy a whole bunch of new equipment. I'm kind of glad I didn't sell those larger tickets now. I usually don't win anything. Like, I think you can sell them for about 50-something gold, maybe 53. You know, pulling numbers off the top of my head. So, I was going to get a chain whip for uh, 
cane, but now I don't need to. Instead, I should just get chain mails through both of them. And we'll, well, next time I'm going to go exploring places and put the silver key to use. I think there might be something to do with it back in uh, Forestia. Although I don't think the uh, the monolith to the south of the castle has anything. I think that was a gold door that was there. So, we'll go back to Lorisia and make our way towards Moonbrook next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest 2. So, this is Classic Horn signing out. I will see you guys later with a whole bunch of money.